This is going to be a short guide on how to play Lily from Street Fighter 6. So the first thing we're going to talk about with Lily is her main buttons. The main buttons you're going to use in neutral and just whenever you are trying to engage with an opponent. Her best buttons up close are going to be obviously her, her crouching light kick and her crouching light punch. Both are around 5 frame startup. They can combo into each other, but you can do light kick into light punch or into crouching light punch as well. Another one of her buttons that's pretty good is her standing medium punch. It's a good neutral tool, a good poke tool. I wouldn't recommend using it up close since it is an 8 frame startup and it's also not special cancelable. Same thing with her crouching medium punch. They're both long range tools but are not able to be special cancelled into any other moves. Also you can't even get any of the moves off of it in general because you will only be plus one on hit. On block you are minus four and minus three so it's just not the best button to use in up close it's really just a poke tool you don't really want to use it when you're in front of them just resort to the light punch and light kick as usual another one of her moves that are very good is back heavy punch probably my favorite move that she has it's 13 frame startup and has a extremely long range you're trading basically a little bit of range for a move that is special cancelable and if you don't know what special cancel is that's when you can cancel a previous move by inputting another move so you can do back heavy punch into a store which gives you that one wind you see in the top below with lily's health bar i'll go into what the wind means later but right now we're going to talk about her, her main buttons probably my favorite button it is 13 frames so be careful when using it you don't want to like really spam it that much uh, another move that's pretty good now i wouldn't say it's a move that you can really spam but her heavy punch decent 10 frame startup oh, it is special cancelable so you can't do heavy punch into a special cancel we can see what it is on block on block it's like negative negative five so it is definitely not your turn after this same thing with with back heavy punch except you're only negative two and you have fried range so really it's not that bad you can't really get punished off of it heavy punch you can get punished off of it you can get probably just instant light combo punch or maybe maybe some characters media moves up close you're not really gonna you're not really gonna do this up close i don't really see it's the point of doing stand heavy punch unless you're going to obviously be doing it into a drive rush and then getting a mix up with the drive rush command grab or a grab another one of her buttons which is also her anti-air which I, I i personally think this button actually sucks her anti-air is her crouch heavy punch it has two hit boxes so as you can see it does hit twice the first hit can anti-air if we get under it you can see it does hit him on the first hit but as I, I still don't think this is a good hit it can be comboed into her dp we'll talk about the dps when we talk about her special moves but honestly crouch heavy punch it's okay anti-air not the best there's definitely way better in the game like i mean jp is a great example he's a really good anti-air in my opinion but yeah so that's that's her anti-air you can special cancel it into another store or special cancel it in, into condor spire which is a move we'll get to when we talk about her special moves honestly her buttons not that bad she has pretty pretty good range honestly she has very good neutral thanks to the clubs that she has really good neutral very good tools if i had to tell you the best buttons to use the ones i use a lot are back heavy punch medium punch at a long range medium punch is good light kick is, is amazing it's only four frame startup so light kick is great light punch is really good and crouchy light punch those are definitely the best moves those are the moves i use the most for her i don't really use crouching medium that much or medium kick because even though it does have good range it's a nine frame startup i do tend to miss it quite a lot oh, i forgot about crouching medium punch crouching medium punch is also really really good heavy kick is okay it is the exact same startup as back heavy but it is i don't think it's yeah it's not special cancelable you can see it on my inputs to the right i can't dash cancel after it so you, if you want to use it as a a poke tool you can it does reach further than back heavy punch but does not reach further than medium punch so it's up to you but her best move that she has is back heavy punch medium punch and definitely her like combo starters Another thing about Lily is her jump in moves, her jump ins, her overheads, whatever you want to call them. Her jump heavy punch is the one I use the most just because it is a straight downward move. You can obviously use her other moves like either medium kick or heavy kick in the air because they're both very long ranging air normals. Light kick is a very short range one. Jumping medium kick and jumping heavy kick are going to be her best moves. If you want a very like straightforward horizontal move, jumping light punch is one of her best horizontal moves. She also has a jump medium punch that comes into another jump medium punch you can jump medium punch punch into dp if you land it correctly she has a record that is special cancelable on her first hit as you can see it is forward heavy punch and then heavy punch heavy punch you can spam it if you want or you just time it same thing if you do it in the corner and it lands 
gives you your mix-up option of going either into crouching light kick or her command grab. Another thing is her command overhead, which is di diagonal heavy punch. It is a 25 frame startup. It's a basic overhead, 25 frames. On block, obviously, it's gonna be negative. Yeah, you're minus three after doing it. So basic overhead, negative three on block. You're really, you're really only gonna use this move just for obviously mix-ups. That's the only reason, reason you really use command overheads. She does have one other move, which is downward heavy punch in the air. It is basically a belly flop in the air that crosses up as you can see on block you're plus seven if you want you can do a cross up into a command grab obviously you can't obviously do it immediately because you can't do the command grab and plus frames that are more than four because the command grab startup time is five frames but if you manage to just do this and then delay it a little bit you can go into her mix up and like i said it can't cross up it's just more mix for her if you land it you can go into stand like kick stand like punch and obviously yes yeah, so you can do you can do stand like kick stand like punch into light dp now we're gonna get into her special moves. We're gonna get instantly into the, like the store properties that she has. You see, when I charge up my charge up, cross back punch. You see that I gained win below my health bar. Basically, what that one does is that it changes the properties of certain moves like Condor Spire and her DP, and also some of her special moves like her super moves. So if you don't have wind charged up and you do Condor Spire, which is the core circle forward kick, it is negative. Light kick is negative four. Medium kick is negative eight. Heavy kick is negative seven. But if you have the wind charged up and you do any one of them, you are plus one. So it is still your turn. You can mash and it will remove your move will come out first. You can grab or do her command grab. But we'll get into her win conditions later into the video and how to really use this as full potential. The next thing we're gonna talk about, which is her command grab, it is a full circle move. They all have different properties. The light one has longer range but less damage. The heavy one has worse range but better damage. You can see the 2800, which is 28%, and the light one only did 20%. So with the light one you do 20%, and the heavy one you do 28%, and medium. Um, yeah, medium's dead in the middle with 24%. If you EX it, which is when you use the drive meter, and EX her move, you can get the range and the damage. So as you can see, it does actually more damage than the heavy version and the exact same range as her light one does. So EX gives you damage and it gives you range. Honestly, it's pretty strong when you combine it with the plus frames of Condor Spire, which we will not talk about her other ways to store wind. She can store wind in many other ways. She can store it by doing course of a back punch. Any one of the punches do change it. As you can see, if you do heavy punch or medium punch it does add a after hit afterwards so you can use a special cancel move you can do back heavy punch into medium store and you'll be minus eight but there's so much pushback you will end up just being safe and it'll just reset neutral as you see it resets neutral and you're just gonna end up being safe and you get wind from it so if you're a land back heavy punch or just go straight into store if you have no wind if you already have a wind you can do back heavy punch into drive cancel and then other stuff that i'll teach you later on in the video now we'll be talking about her dp motion now her dps aren't the worst her dps are decent besides that you can do light one which is a very short range dp you can do a medium punch which is a higher up dp and then you could do a heavy punch you can use it in a combo there is a combo that you can do with her that allows you to do dp into another move on door dive which is when you do two punch moves in the air it is minus 23 if you have wind on the other hand though you'll be safe unlike her uncharged up version You can use it, I would only really use this move for a, a combo ender because you can't combo end it after doing EXDP. So if you DP and then do Condor Dive, you will end up getting a combo that actually connects. Now that we talked about her special moves, we can go into her super arts. Her level one, basic super that can be comboed in from light punch. It can be comboed in from light punch. It can also be comboed in from back heavy punch. You can use this when someone jumps in. I don't recommend it still because honestly, you have crouch and heavy punch, which is the better option. If you accidentally do DP and you get super, there is a chance that you can't see her with it. Besides that, you'll probably get punished from it. So on block, obviously it's gonna be negative because it's a super art. It does a decent amount of damage. Just straight up, just 22%. You comboed, you can obviously get more. Now to her level two, you can also do it in the air. With wind, it does change the properties. You can combo into it. Like usual, like with the level one, you can combo into it. And if we add wind, the hitbox does get a little bit bigger. So as you can see, it does get a little bit bigger and does a little bit more damage. It does also add five extra hits. And it can also be used from any special cancelable move. I recommend using it with wind because of how it gives you so much damage off of anything confirmed. I always up to you whenever you want to use it. Now we're going to talk about her level three. So it is a command grab super that is very, very close range. 
and as you can see damn near no range you can also combo it depending on the combo as you can see if we could do a, we can do a light combo into it it's not about two bird it's a pretty decent two bird like i said it is a command grab so if you know your opponent isn't gonna jump and he's gonna mash in the corner like say you're in the corner he's just mashing then you can use it besides that i would only recommend using the combos or in her plus range situations Now that we talked about her buttons and her special moves, we can now go into her win conditions. The best way to win with Lily is by abusing her Condor Spire plus ring. It is plus one, so if you gain win and then use Condor Spire, as you can see, we're plus one, so we're gonna be able to do a move first. If we tell Luke to jump, if you spam light kick, a standing light kick, it can frame trap and it will it'll catch the opponent on their jump, and then that's a free combo because basically you just do you do light kick into light punch into DP. We can show that it works outside the corner too. Go ahead, use light DP, and then you can instantly go back into another store. Can use whatever dp you want all dps connect i always recommend using light dp just because it leaves you with a little bit of mix-up opportunity because you are close to them so you can do light dp into command grab which works or you can obviously dash cancel and to grab dash cancel into any other move that you want to use so, so you want to be abusing her condor spire plus frames so as you see if luke jumps he gets caught jumping so you can just do light into anything into any move but now what if they don't jump what if they do block well that is when you use her command grab because her command grab works from condor spire so you can do condor spire any one of them work and then if they continue to block do command grab i normally do medium up close i don't know why i just I feel like the easier button to press for me you can do light if you want to if you think they're going to move a little bit or you can obviously for heavy which gives you the most amount of damage so it's up to you whatever you want to use basically gonna put your opponent in a situation where they have to guess what you're gonna do are you going to do a light kick and catch them while they're jumping or are you going to do command grab so it's up to you to mix them up you can also if you want go for low moves if your opponent just strip stand blocking you can do crouching light kick it does catch them on jump too so if you want to do crouching light kick just to get even more mix you can do crouching light kick into stand light punch and then it's a dp lily she's pretty bare bones she's very easy to pick up one of the easiest characters in the game to play but at the same time she doesn't have that much compared to all the other characters in the game if you look at people like jury or jp dj they have way more tools than lily does lily honestly this is her only win condition and if you don't have this win condition then you're, you're, got, you're kind of gonna lose a lot of your matches so it's up to you if you want to play a character that is just fun to play she has a lot of opportunities for improvements i do see her getting buffed in the future because she generally compared to the other characters she doesn't have all the tools that other characters have but who knows she might get buffed in the future but in my opinion if i did if I had to choose, she's on the lower ranking side compared to all the other characters in the game. Another thing about Lily that is very bad for her is that she has no projectiles. If she doesn't get in, then she basically loses. The only long range move she has is Heavy Condor Spire and EX. It makes it a little bit faster. She does have Condor Dive, which is a pretty decent move. If you predict that you can use Condor Spire to get in close, or you can actually hit them and you will get a punish counter. And that's going to be the end of this Lily Guide. If you have any other tips for Lily that you know of that I have not said in this video, leave them down below in the comments. And as you want to be all, stay blessed and have a wonderful day.